For you I live and for you I breathe I just want to please you cause Lord I love you And when this earth shall pass away Lord, I want to hear you say you will. Hello and welcome to another episode of SOS Ministries. I do pray that you're having a wonderful day, a wonderful week, a wonderful month, and that you, in whatever season, in whatever circumstance you are, can find it within yourself to say thank you. Not because of necessarily, but in spite of everything that you're going through, because regardless of what it is, God is still a good God. Thank you for joining us today, and I do pray that this word as always blesses your heart, and we're going to jump right in. Today we're going to read from a familiar passage of scripture. It's um, from Psalm 1, the book of Psalms, chapter 1, and we will be reading from verses 1 to 3, with my emphasis on verse 3. And it says, Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. That person shall be like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither, whatever they do prospers. Glory be to God. And our word for today is know your season and bring forth fruit in it. Know your season and bring forth fruit in it. Um, we're in 2020 and with all of the, with everything that it has brought our way, with all the uncertainty, with all the hard times, with all the lessons, with all the disruption that it has brought our way, it definitely a year that's been marked by uncertainty. You know, there's so many things, there are so many things that are up in the air and we've learned to just take things one day at a time because things may be this way today and a completely different way tomorrow. Um, So we've learned, or I I feel like we're learning to take things one day at a time. And to the untrained eye, this season, this year can look like a time of just total and complete chaos. It can look like there's chaos everywhere. Nobody knows what is going on or what to do. People give their best predictions, but that's your best prediction today and that might completely be flipped on its head tomorrow. But even in the midst of what seems like chaos, like overwhelming chaos and uncertainty, it is important for us to remember that this is a season. Glory be to God. And as with all seasons, it doesn't stay forever. It's not going to last forever. This is a season that will come to pass. This is a season. It is upon us, but it will it will not always be this way. And I think it's so important for us to remember. Glory be to God that Ecclesiastes tells us that there is a time for everything. There is a time for everything, and there's a season for every activity under the heavens. So the world is in a season. The church of God is going through a particular season, but you and I as individuals are also going through our own seasons. Glory be to God. So it's important for us to know in this time, what season am I going through? Where is God leading me what time glory be to god does he have me in glory be to god because everybody's not in the same season at the same time but every season is purposeful every one of our seasons we're not in the same season at the same time but all of our seasons are purposeful and in order for us to not lose sight of what God is trying to do in our lives in this season in order for us to not get caught up trying to to gaze at somebody else's fruit that they're bearing in this in their season or in order for us to not get lose sight of of what God is doing in our own lives and trying to and try to replicate what God is doing in somebody else's 
people's life, we must understand that there is purpose in our season. Wherever you are right now is purposeful. Whatever season you are going through, glory be to God, is purposeful. It will not last always because I understand and I realize that there are many folks who are going through difficult seasons. There are many of us for who this time in our lives is a very hard time. It's a very trying time. It's a very difficult time, but that doesn't mean that it is a time that it is that is without purpose because nothing that God does is purposeless. Nothing that he allows is purposeless. Glory be to God. So it is important that we understand what season that we are in as an individual. And that is the question for us today. Do you know what season you're in? And do you understand the purpose, the purpose, the meaning of the season that you are in? I'm a firm believer that every season of our life, not only is it purposeful, but every season comes with lessons. Every season comes with, with lessons that we cannot afford to miss because it is the foundation or the building block for where we're going. So if we miss the lessons that are that are that are embedded in this season of our lives, then we are not as prepared or we won't be as prepared as we need to be going into the next season. It's like a step, it's like stages and at every season God teaches us specific lessons that will sustain us and that will inform us and that will lead us going forward. Glory be to God. So what are the lessons that God may be trying to teach you in this season? What is he trying to open your heart to? What is he trying to open your eyes to? What is he trying to shift? What is, where is he leading you? Why are you in this season? Not why is in a oh God get me out, but as a why is a, a why is in as in as in what are you trying to teach me, God, in this season? Why am I here? What are the lessons that I am supposed to learn while I am here? What fruit am I supposed to bear in this season? Glory be to God. What fruit am I supposed to bear in this season? Do you know what fruit? We don't want to, we don't want to be called on or we don't want to be, we don't want to be in the situation where there's an expectation for us to bear fruit and we have nothing to give. We don't want to be in a, in a season where God has called us to do a certain thing or a certain way and we're just idle and wasting time so that when he calls on us to bear fruit, when he calls on us to manifest what he's been working on the inside of us during this season that we have nothing to give. We remember the story, glory be to God, when Jesus, when Jesus was expecting fruit from that fig tree and it had nothing. It had the leaves, it had all, it had all the trappings. It had been through the time when it was supposed to be a fruit. But when Jesus was, when Jesus came to the unexpected fruit, there was nothing. What did he do? He cursed it and it withered up and died. Whatever season you're in, you are called to bear fruit. Different fruit for different seasons. Some wise person said you need different tools for different seasons, but you're still called to bear fruit in every season. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Is this a season of stillness for you? Is it, or is this a season where God is calling you to get up and to make moves? Is this a season where he's calling you to be still and know that he is God? Is this a season where he's calling you to wait on the Lord and be of good courage? Is this a season where he's calling you to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding but in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path or is this, is this a season where he's calling you to manifest all that he's been working in you and through you for the past months and weeks and years is this a season where you're called to pull back or to show forth glory be to God is this is this planting season for you or is this reaping season for you what season are you in is this a season of fall for you where God is is calling you to, to shed off some stuff is this a season where he's stripping away those things that ought not to be glory be to god is this a season where he's calling you to shed the heaviness and to shed the weight is, is this a season where he's removing from your life things that may be hindrances things that may be holding you back from where he's trying to lead you because those seasons can be painful those seasons can be overwhelming those seasons can be gut-wrenching those seasons can come with tears those seasons 
come with come with much anguish but glory be to God when you are in pruning season and when he's shedding and, and ridding your life of those things that are no longer conducive to your growth those things that are no longer conducive to where he wants to go it is still a season that is filled with purpose pain yes but purpose nonetheless so is he calling you to shed off is he calling you to, to lay aside? Is he calling you to let go of things and behaviors and mindsets and relationships and places and people or things that you may have been holding on to? Is that the season that you're in? Or is this your spring season? Is this a season where you're putting on new things? Is this a season where you're entering into, into, into new and beautiful and creative and innovative ways of, of, of being and thinking and doing things is this a season where there are new ideas and new opportunities are are being presented and new relationships are being formed destiny relationships relationships that will that are aligned with where what god is doing in your life and what he wants to do glory be to god is this a season where you're where you're stepping into new ways of living imagining life and and purpose and 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 just your days in different ways is this a season where he's revealing new gifts that you didn't even know you had is this a season where he's showing you new paths and new trends that you can take glory be to god what season are you in is this a season of tearing down or is it a season of building up because every season is intentional and every season has purpose what is god calling you to in this season it, it <laughs> The word of God says that he ought to teach us, teach us God to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. We cannot afford to waste time. We cannot afford to go through like we, like, like people who have no purpose or no destiny. We cannot afford to just imagine, you know, that 2020 is a year that, you know, is just, it's a waste year. There's no such thing under the sun. You know, a lot of people are talking about canceling 2020 and this and that, but God is trying to teach you a lesson right here in this season. Season. In this season, in 2020, in whatever you're going through, regardless of all the hardships and the madness or what looks like madness, God has a purpose. God has a will for your life in this season. So no, 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 you cannot cancel what God is doing. What we need to do is to understand what God is doing in our lives and align ourselves with that. Not cancel it, align with what God is doing. Understand and align in this season. Understand what God is doing. Understand what God is expecting of you in this season and align with what he is doing. It might be brand new. But understand that God's ways are past finding out. Why would he try to teach me something in the midst of this pain? Why would he try to teach me something in the midst of this chaos? Why, what, what lesson could he possibly teach me? Understand that God's mind, we cannot fathom the mind of God, but we can trust the heart of God. I say this always, when you don't understand why God is doing what he is doing, trust the heart of God. Glory be to God that everything that he's doing is for his glory and for your good that all things work together for good for those who love God and are called according to his purpose I encourage us today don't be so attached to what you used to know or what you used to do that you miss out what God is requiring of you here and now don't be so attached to your yesterday don't be so attached to your last year don't be so attached to your last season that you miss what God is trying to do in you or through you in this season here and now because some of us are so used to doing things one way or used to thinking about a certain thing in one specific way that we hold on for dear life to what is past and God is clearly trying to shift us. That season was for a purpose. The purpose is probably now done. It's over with and this is a new thing. What are you telling me here, God? Where are you leading me now, God? It is okay to let go. 
it is okay to let go. God, what I love, love, love about God is that he is a God of diversity. He's a God of innovation. He's a God of infinite creativity. He's a God who has numberless ways to establish his purpose. Glory be to God. And you know, like I said, some wise person once said, different seasons call for different tools. And God is able to sustain you with whatever tools that you need to be a fruit and to be effective in the season that he's called you to. You just have to know what season you're in. I understand that change can be scary. I understand that, you know, when we when we're going through certain things, we don't even we don't even feel like we're able to reflect, but we can trust God in spite of it all. In spite of the season that we're in, we can trust God. If it's a hard season, know that it's not going to last always. Glory be to God. If it's a hard season, remember, glory be to God, that when you go through the fire, you will come through as pure gold. If it's a hard season, remember that in spite of what you may be going through, the word of God says that he will never leave you nor forsake you. If it's a hard season, remember, glory be to God, that when you lift your eyes onto the hill, someone's come at your help. Glory be to God, that God is is your helper, that God is your shield and buckler, that God is your deliverer, that God is your strong tower, that he is your bridge over troubled water, that he is your hiding place. Glory be to God, that God is he who will fight your battle because he is a mighty God in battle in your heart seasons. Glory be to God. Maybe it is that God is trying to teach you how to trust him. Maybe it is that he's trying to show you that he is a faithful God. Maybe it is glory be to God that he is trying to remind you. Glory be to God that he is always with you, that you are his child, that you are his son, that you are his daughter. And when you go through hell, that he is there with you. When you go through the waters, that they will not overflow you. When you go through the fire, that it will not burn you. Maybe he is trying to demonstrate that he is a faithful God in this hard season. If it's a season of joy and if it's a season of, of blessing, remember, glory be to God to store up treasures for yourself where moth and wrath cannot destroy. Remember, glory be to God that he blesses us so that we can be a blessing to others. Glory be to God, whatever season you're in, God is calling you to bear fruit. God is, God is, God is he who will sustain you in every season. God will sustain you in any and every season that he's calling you to. Why is it important that you know your season? Because if you know your season, you know how to invest your energy. If you understand what season you're in and you're in alignment with where God is taking you, then you know where to invest your energy. You're not busy trying to trying to trying to to reap oranges when God is calling you to plant apples. You're not busy trying to trying to trying to sell when God is trying when God is teaching you a new thing. You're not busy trying to replicate what other people people are doing when God is doing something completely different. You're not wasting your time. You're not wasting your energy when you understand your season. You won't waste time being idle. You won't waste time going around in circles. You won't waste time envying other people's fruit or trying to bear the wrong fruit when you understand your season, when you understand your purpose in this season, when you understand glory be to God, what God is calling you to. When you know your season, you know how to pray. <laughs> When you know your season, you understand how to pray according to the will of God. When you understand your season, you know when it is to say, God, not my will, but yours be done. When you know your season, you know when it's time to pray, God, I need your strength. I need strength to endure. I need wisdom and discernment to be able to see where you're leading and where you're going. I need the fruit of, because maybe you're just trying to teach me how to be patient. I need the, the fruit of patience. Teach me how to be patient. God, I recognize that my faith isn't as strong as I, re I, I, well, I thought it was. So help me, God, strengthen my faith. Help me to go back into the word and to take the word and to speak the word and to stand on the word and to believe leave the word when you know your season you know how to pray when you know your season in spite of where you are you can have peace 
because you know that God is up to something. You know that God is working something out and you don't have to become frazzled or frustrated or stressed out because you understand that this is a season that it will pass. But before it passes, there are purpose, there are purposes and lessons that are embedded in this season. The word of God says that whatsoever you do shall prosper. If you are in alignment with your season, everything you do will prosper. Seek direction from God. Ask him, glory be to God, what he's doing. Ask him where he's leading. Glory be to God. Remember to remain planted. Remember, the Bible says that that you shall be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water. You must remain planted in this season. I know that this is shaking season, that many things are being shaken, but remain rooted and grounded. My prayer for you today is that you would be rooted and grounded in the word, rooted and grounded in the will of God. That you will be steadfast and unmovable, always abounding in the will of God, always abounding in the ways of God. Glory be to God. In this season and in every season, may you be rock solid. May you be planted I on the solid rock. Glory be to God. May your anchor hold in this season. May your anchor hold in this season. Wait on God. Be aligned with your purpose. Be aligned with God's divine purpose for your life in this season. Be aligned with the will of God. Know the will of God for your life in this season. And remember that whatever season you're in, somebody said time spent in preparation is never time wasted. Trust in God. Understand the heart of God and what he's trying to do. Glory be to God and watch God be an abundant fruit, not just any fruit, but fruit that will remain for this generation and for generations to come. God bless you. God encourage your heart. God be with you. May God give you everything that you need, the grace, the anointing, and the power that you need to be and to do what he's calling you to in this season. God bless you, and I love you. For you I live and for you I breathe I just want to please you cause Lord I love you And when this earth shall pass away Lord I want to hear you say well done